Welcome to the 10X stage. This is for you. Thank you, and hi. I just want to say hi. Have a seat. We're changing up the format a little bit just for Ted because it's fun. We do a little interview thing. I noticed you didn't run out there. You feeling a little exhausted, a little tired? You're not too I'm fit? Tired. I'm not really a runner. I'm, I'm kind of a swimmer. So like, that's Rumor has thing. it you're pretty good in the pool. Um, I'd say I'm okay, yeah. Yeah, Decent. you can swim fast? Uh, I can swim pretty fast, yeah. I've been practicing for a while, so my hopes are high. Nice. <laughs> so um, you're 17 and you're in school and you're cutting right now. What do you, should you be doing not um, here on this stage? Where should you be? You're at a school, like young lady. One o'clock, right? I should be in bio class. In bio? Yes. <laughs> You'll be doing bio right now. Are you a good student? I'm a pretty good student. I think my parents would say I am. I think I sometimes am a little attached to my phone, but I'm, I'm getting off that, so. <laughs> attached to your phone? A little bit. Are you a good multitasker? Can you do math and check yeah, Snapchat? I can like write notes while I'm Snapchatting my friends or like checking my Twitter. Gotcha. So you're a good student, a yeah. bit distracted. No, I try my best. <laughs> What's a day in the life like of a uh, penny swimmer? A day in the life, it's pretty busy. It's really nonstop and uh, kind of starts around six in the morning. I wake up and I'll have some breakfast and then my dad will drive me either to the subway station or just to practice and I'll go for a swim in the morning and then right after I swim I walk to the weights room where I will do weights there and then after I'm done my weights there, then I'll walk to school. And then at school, I work from like 1, uh, 11 to like 4. And then I walk back to the pool. Then I have practice there. Then I go home. Then I have dinner. Then I have homework. Then I probably like shower. Then I pack my bags for tomorrow. And the same thing. Hmm. So you're not getting much done on any given day yeah. then? No. <laughs> Now, when you go to the pool for a swim, like I, I go to the pool for a swim, and it's a lot of this, you know, a little hot tub laying around. Like, what are you doing in the pool? Um, usually, like, six or seven kilometers in the pool per practice, so that's, like, two hours, and it can be some fast stuff, which I really enjoy. I like going fast and just, like, doing races, basically, in the pool, but some days it's just, like, 10 400s and go have fun and be in your head and don't talk, like... Mm. Do you like swimming? <laughs> so many people ask me that. Yeah, I do. I do like they? It. Oh, shit, then scrap it. No, I don't want to ask no, a question like, somebody else asked. No, but I like that a lot. I, I like <laughs> swimming a lot. It's so fun, and I meet so many amazing people, and right now I'm, like, back at my old club, so I'm just having a lot of fun where I am. So you're back with the home club. You're not, you're not swimming with the national team at the moment. No, um, I'm not swimming at the High Performance Center in Scarborough anymore. Right now I'm at... Uh, University of Toronto downtown and I'm training with like Kylie Moss and I'm training with all the people I trained with a few years ago and it's just it's so fun right do you find now that you are sort of much faster than they are so you're getting soft training with them I mean uh, are they pushing no. you no I right. don't think so just pressing <laughs> questions um, I think that in practice I kind of need to like pick up what I'm doing more because I know I'm a very very good racer but I've always kind of just held back in practice and kind of just done the practice. But um, I think having a bigger team is helping push me forward and pushing me to be the best that I can in practice. So I think it's definitely helping. Hmm. They probably love having you back too, your friends you like to swim with. Yeah, it's That's so neat fun. that you'd say that you're lame at practice but a better racer and they yeah. push you at practice and maybe you can help them be better racers. Yeah, hopefully. Why? What is it about you? You jump in the pool and the race is on. Why does that seem to make a difference for you? I think I just have fun when I'm racing. It's just so fun to like get in and compete and see what you can do. And like at the end of my race, when I'm trying to go the fa as fast as I can, I'm just looking to see, oh, who am I passing? Like, who can I pass right now? And it's just so fun to just like get in there and go as fast as you can and touch the wall and just like be dead for like a minute. <laughs> and that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> do you like to suffer? <laughs> I love I that. If that's, I love, you know, that's a great that's character. Kind of, just like at the end of the race, you know, like, you know, you put everything into it when you're touching the wall and you're just holding onto the wall and you're like, I don't even care what I just came right now. Like, I could have come 10th in an eight person race and I'd be happy. Like, I don't care. Like, I just, I'm done and I'm mm. dead and it's just fun. So the thing for you is the totality of that effort. It's not like you're obsessed with the outcome. No, I'm not. I'm just more obsessed with knowing that I'm trying my best. Oh, God, don't lose that, hey? That's so good. Good reminder to all of us. 
Hmm. If you could go back and have a conversation with pre-Rio Penny, which is not long ago, <laughs> what would you tell her? Um, I think I'd just tell her to stay the same and do what she's doing because I think pre-Rio, I had a really, really good support team and I still do now, but just having that team there to tell me, just go there, have fun, like you have no pressure, you're not going to win medals, you're not going to make finals. I was like, yeah, that's true, I guess, like I'll just race as fast as I can, but I think that was kind of the attitude I had to have going into Rio. Mm -hmm. We could, we could spend an hour here, but we've got to keep our track on time here. <laughs> this is fabulous. Can you teach me to swim? Yeah. Because I'm just... I get I'm, so frustrated, though. I'm fresh out of the Cirque du Soleil, so <laughs> I'm thinking maybe you could, you, could, you could teach me to swim. Uh, what's coming up for you? You're in grade 12 now, yes. and I guess Ontario doesn't do 13 anymore. That's no. what we, yeah. So what's going to happen? You're going to graduate this year? No, I'm not graduating this year. Um, I took a semester off before Rio, and then I kind of took a semester off last year before Worlds, so swimming was kind of just like number one priority, but right now it's just like I need to focus on school and swimming at the same time, so uh, I have to do a fifth year after this, and then I'm probably going to take another year off before Tokyo, and then after Tokyo, then hopefully university. I don't know where yet, though. I have mm. so long. <laughs> what would you study if you got there? Hopefully going when? into law. Yeah. Sorry, Penny, when you get there. Yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully law. law. I know, I'm interested in it. It's cool. You want to be a litigator or a corporate lawyer? You want to sue people and get yeah. up in court and kick ass? Or what are you thinking? Yeah, I, I kind of want to be like a defense lawyer. I think it'd be fun in like criminal law. Really? <laughs> I never want to see you in court. It'd be, I know. I would lose immediately, I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah, you know, this idea of legacy that we're talking about here at this conference, it seems kind of a crazy question, right? 17 years old, <laughs> so what's your legacy, Penny? I it, know. It's almost a little unfair, it's but so what's your legacy, Penny? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's so hard to, like, think about. I was thinking about it for so long when, like, you guys asked me to partake in the talk, and I think my legacy is hopefully just to, like, inspire younger generations, if not, like, just younger girls young people in general to like get out there and do what they want to do because I feel like people can like relate to me just because we're so close in age and I don't have the same daily routines as like other kids but like for the most part I do I guess so I just want to be able to like be there for kids to relate to and be there for kids to look up to and I guess that's what I want my legacy to be. Hmm. Is, it, is it that relatability because you are so young relatively speaking that they can see wow you know you're only eight or nine years older than I am, and there you are. Yeah, um, I think so, yeah, because, like, I know, especially for me, when I look up to, like, models or, like, other athletes and Canadian athletes, like Eugenie Bouchard and people, I'm always, like, that is so far away, even though it's, like, I'm kind of in that moment right now. Mm -hmm. um, but I think for just looking at myself, I'm like, oh, I'm just a kid. I'm just, I love swimming. I love school. I love what I'm doing. So I think it's just easy for other kids to relate to. Right. You know, when you get, in, when you go to the, and thank you for that, and hope you, I'm sure you, you know, I mean, you're so humble and, oh, shucks about it, which is lovely, um, but uh, I like this contrast of you get in the pool. You're a closer. Yes. You're known to be a closer. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> you know, you're a good, I mean, relative to a dolphin, you suck as a swimmer, but thank you. <laughs> uh, just uh, relative to other humans on the planet, yeah. you're really good. And... I, I like this idea that you, this uh, simplicity, this uh, lightness of being that you bring to being just <laughs> really good, and it's so inspiring and invigorating. I love it. What's the deal at the pool when you're just always like <laughs> with, your with your goggles? Like <laughs> all the swimmers are like <laughs> just constantly like <laughs> with the, with, are you trying to like shove them into your head? What's the deal with that? I don't know. I don't think... I do as much as other people because, like, I don't really like my goggles being on too tight and, like, my cap being too tight. I'm like, ew, that's too much right. for me. But, like, yeah, I think people just, like, want to make sure that no water is getting into their goggles whatsoever. Like, life or death, if, like, whatever happens in the pool, their goggles are not going to come well, off. Even if it sucks your eyeball out of your head. <laughs> because after you win, you're like... <laughs> and looking around trying to see your results, but you can't because your eyeball's falling <laughs> out of your head. Have you ever had them, like... Fill up with water? Yeah, I have. I did in Rio, actually, in my 4x2 relay. Yeah. Really? That's a fun fact. Uh, I was the last leg of the relay of the 4x2, 
And I dove in and my goggles filled up right away. And I was freaking out. I was like, oh my goodness, like I'm gonna cost these girls this medal. Like I can't like lose this race. So I was like, oh my. I don't know where I am. I don't, like I can't see anyone else at the pool. So I was like, I'm just gonna swim as fast as I can for four lengths and we'll see what happens. And then I touched the wall and we came third. So it was exciting. Just like that. It's pretty fun. So you jumped in the pool, immediately your goggles filled up with water, you couldn't see a thing, yeah. and you said, well, I'm just going to go as fast as I can. Well, there wasn't and anything else I could do. I was like <laughs> <laughs> the world according to Penny. It's like, yeah. what are you worried about? Just swim your face off and get, win a medal. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. fabulous. I think that race was like, I've, I've never felt that much pain ever in my life in any single race after, like, other than that. Do you think if you hadn't, hadn't messed up the goggles, you might have paced yourself? That, honestly, I don't know. Sometimes, like, I used to talk about that with my coach, and he'd be like, I feel like if you, your goggles didn't fill up, you would have, like, paced yourself off someone. They would have, like, outtouched you or something like that, but I don't know. So you had a moment of terror, oh, my God. Yeah. And then just <laughs> bit down and went. I tried to, yeah. Well, it seemed <laughs> to work. You did a pretty nice job of it. You know, I want to just ask a quick question about you, your training because you, you glossed over it and it's very, very demanding. Yeah, really um, and I want to ask a little quick question about your fuel. Like, are, do, can you, are you still at that age where you eat anything and it doesn't matter? Or are you thinking as an athlete you need to eat properly or more healthily? Yeah, I what do you like eat, Penny? A year ago, <laughs> uh, right after Rio, if you asked me that, I'd be like, oh, I eat whatever I want. I eat donuts. I eat bagels, I eat, I don't know, cake every day, but like... Cake. Yeah, cake yeah. is so good. I haven't had cake in a while. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I think now it's more like I'm figuring out I need to eat healthier and nutrition's actually going to help me with my swimming and going to help me like yeah. I have to figure out when I go to sleep because I used to be like, oh, I'll go to bed at 2 a.m., wake up at 5, like no issue, but now it's a complete 180 and I'm trying to figure it out. Well, you're getting older, Penny. I know. You need to get serious now. about it. God help the world when you get your nutrition, nutrition dialed in. These people are in trouble. We'll see. If you're going <laughs> to cheat, what do you cheat on? What's that little thing you just, mm, 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 my God, what are you going to eat? Chicken fingers. I love oh, chicken fingers. Chicken fingers. Like are we talking like just garbage? Frosty. Oh, from a McDonald's. Wendy's. Wendy's. So good. Sorry to plug them. They're not a sponsor. <laughs> but anyway, really, yeah. a Frosty and some chicken fingers. Yeah. That is your and like, evil. That's what like, my parents get me when I'm like, I have a bad day or something, my mom will be like, it's okay, I got you chicken fingers and a Frosty for dinner. And I'm like, I love you. <laughs> it's the way to your heart. It's like the nicest thing. Food's the way to my heart, too. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Chicken fingers. We, we talked before in passing about the mm -hmm. training. And you, and you talked about, so you get in the pool and you swim and you have a workout. And then you go to the weight workout? Yeah. And what is that? Are you just like, what is, what, what, what is a weight training session look like uh, after swimming 50 kilometers? If you follow me on Insta, I posted about it today, but uh, oh. <laughs> no, um, it's just a pretty hard weight session. My trainer right now, he's pretty tough, so like, I'll like do one weight next one week, and then the next week he'll be like, okay, we're just going to do a weight that's like 10 kilos heavier, 20 kilos heavier, and I'm like, oh, uh, okay, yeah, sounds good, like whatever. And then he'll always text me being like, you can't say, I'll try. You have to say, I'm going to do it. And like, he's teaching me how to be like more aggressive in the weight room so I can lift bigger weights. Mm. But I'm not like the most aggressive person. So <laughs> like, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you like to be laid back about it? Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm a pretty chill person, I think. But pretty I, chill? I'm, I'm learning to be more aggressive in the weight room and like slap the weights. <laughs> yeah, bang some shit around, be like, yeah. ah, drop stuff from a great distance, don't lay it down. Yeah. And everybody will draw their, <laughs> ooh, that penny, she's bad. Yeah. That's what I'm working on. That's kind of obnoxious. Don't do it. I don't think you should. <laughs> I do that kind of thing. It's like, it doesn't even make a sound. I drop like, -dum -dum. that's it. You probably, <laughs> no, not yet. Right now, I like put it down, but my trainer's like, no, you have to drop the weight. And like, when you take the weight off, you have to like slap it back where it goes. I'm like, no. Nah. That's scary. <laughs> so you're this wonderful contrast between quite laid back outside of the pool, yeah. but then when you dip in the water, something goes. Yeah. I feel like you kind of have to have that contrast. You can't just always be like all the time. Like you have to kind of have like, mm -hmm. got to chill out at home and like kind of get your mind off things so you can do other stuff with your life. Because if I was always just tense all the time, I feel like it just would not work for me. 
You've got a lot of wisdom packed up in your life, Penny. Thank you for sharing it with us today. Ladies and gentlemen.